Welcome to the Focus on Why podcast. I'm Amy Rowlandson and I ask my guests one simple question, why? Focusing on the importance of why, I share with you the relatable, uplifting and inspiring conversations I have with people from all walks of life. This podcast will encourage you to focus on your why to enable and empower you to achieve the success you desire. Have a purpose, have a plan, focus on why. Welcome to episode 64, my ninth Reflections and Observations episode, where I get the chance to reflect on the last six episodes and pull out an element from each one, something that has particularly resonated with me from each of the stories that people have shared. I've just returned from a short two-week break visiting my brother and my father, who I've not seen for a year. What a crazy few months have passed since my last holiday in February, and who could have predicted the events that we've witnessed since then? Taking a break provided an excellent opportunity for me to reflect on my property and coaching businesses, the podcast and these recent episodes without the added distractions of other recordings, coaching sessions and property site visits. Perhaps I'm even seeing the content through a different lens and from a different perspective. I find it curious to know whether I would have shared the same threads which I've chosen to share today had I still been caught up in the busyness of my daily life, although I guess we'll never know. Usually at this time of the year, people would be heading for the beach for their well-deserved annual holiday. And whilst you may not be able to get to the beach this year, you can still play with a beach ball physically and metaphorically. Imagine an oversized beach ball with six coloured segments in front of you. It's so big you can only see three of its coloured segments. Your family or friends are standing equidistant around the huge ball and they can each see three colours. So you all have totally different perspectives of what the ball looks like. When talking with coaching clients, I often refer to the beach ball concept to help illustrate a really important topic. Perspective. Working with others, you can understand what you can't or don't see and thus get an understanding of what others see from their perspective. With differing perspectives, it's important to ask each other the right questions to get the full picture. First, seek to understand and then be understood. As finding out what information you are missing through listening to others, you can then consider other angles before making decisions based on your original assumptions. By seeking out the perspectives of others and being open-minded, you're able to take on board new insights and perspectives. The beach ball concept can be applied to all areas of your business and your personal life. So try it out and see how it adds value to your day-to-day. First up in my reflections is episode 58, Crazy Opportunities with Carolina Adamczyk. And I want to continue with the thread of perspective in terms of what opportunities are possible to people through the perspective of reality. As we all see life through a different lens, we all have a different reality. Although we live in the same world, the world is not the same for each of us. Our perception is formed on the basis of our filters and we filter information daily based on our beliefs, values, experiences and memories. In our own individual reality, there is what we believe to be true, what we know, what we know but don't understand and then there is all that which we don't know, we don't know. Mind-blowing, I know. All the stuff that is in the world that we are not even aware of and therefore does not essentially exist in our reality, although it does exist. It just sits outside of our perception and our model of the world. Carolina was brought up with very little in terms of money or possessions. However, her parents brought her up in a world of riches. What do I mean? Well, she and her sister were exposed at a very young age to a world rich of experiences, innovation, opportunities and possibilities. Moving from a world of scarcity and negativity to a world of abundance and choice, She was initially shocked and overwhelmed with a movie-like Technicolor version compared to her original black and white world. When Carolina refers to the people back in Poland thinking that she is probably a cleaner, it is because at home, in their reality, the world Carolina lives in does not necessarily exist for them, or they're not aware of it. It's certainly not accessible. They don't know of all the other realities that she has moved fluidly across. There is no awareness, as their world is much, much smaller. Carolina has made her world huge. She has opened up her choices through travelling and experiencing work in different industries. She challenges herself to explore and question. She is not afraid to reinvent herself, to follow or create crazy opportunities. In episode 59, Follow Your Heart with Olga Gaidana, we see how 
everyone in the world could benefit from having Olga in their lives. Olga found personal development in her life very early through the form of a book, and that book has clearly shaped her life profoundly since. That book changed her life. It transformed it, and that is what Olga is determined to do for others, and a billion others at that. This book about a ginger donkey and a chance meeting with a lady at a bus stop changed the course of Olga's life forever into a billion reason why. Why such a big goal to transform people's lives as a mindset coach? Well, because she is passionate at fixing problems. She is passionate at fixing situations because she understands what being in a dark place feels and looks like. She encourages us to keep learning because the more you learn, the more you earn. And not in a monetary way or not just in a monetary way, but from the perspective of admiration, of love, of pleasure, of joy and blissfulness in life. Learn as much as you can because when you learn yourself, you can help many other people. I share her quest for constant learning. I see it as our gift to others in the world, a gift that can be shared with as many people as possible. For me, I help people to focus on their why with clarity. This podcast is congruent with my coaching approach. In the podcast, I ask people to share their passion and their purpose and the plan that they have, which is leading them to create the life they truly desire. As I know that hearing this will inspire others to question why they're doing what they're doing and instigate action taking in one form or another. I know that people are taking action as a result of tuning into this podcast because I get hundreds of messages from people all over the world doing just that. This in turn inspires me to keep going, keep recording, keep inspiring people, knowing that I'm also learning every day. Following on with the theme of helping people to lift their lives, the next podcast episode was a big deal personally for me, but I kept the reason why secret from the guest until we were midway recording the episode. Episode 60, Goal Mapping with Brian Main. I already knew it was going to be an emotional story from his perspective, as I have heard Brian tell his story several times, and every time It makes me cry as he takes you through his journey of both the pleasure and the pain, the anguish that he experienced, and you can't help but feel deeply for him. I don't want to sound overdramatic, and by now you know me that that's not how I work, but goal mapping totally changed my life. Not overnight, but slowly and gradually over the course of the time frame I set my goals for, which was three years. Leaning on the simplicity of ancient wisdom, Brian devised a goal mapping system that was simple enough to be universally used by children and world leading organisations alike. Brian's concept of goal mapping is simple yet so powerful. It is backed by neuroscience and it blooming well works. I first heard about Brian's goal mapping system on a property course back on the 30th of September 2016, where I was tasked to draw my first goal map. It didn't need to be a masterpiece. It didn't matter what others were doing in the room. It needed to be of personal importance to me. I put my blinkers on and I focused on what was important. I set my goal date for what I wanted to achieve for the 30th of September 2019 and I put the huge sheet of paper underneath my clear floor protector underneath my desk, underneath my chair. I literally sat on top of my goal map for three years looking at what I wanted to achieve. What happened? Well, I missed my target date by three days, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Goal mapping works and it is a practice that I've continued with ever since alongside my daily journaling. Have you heard or tried goal mapping out yet? If not, why not head over to Brian's wonderful world of goal mapping at goalmapping.com and see what future you can map out for yourself. My next guest talks of life satisfaction, of self-esteem, of self-worth. She talks of super problems and human behavior and how one of her superpowers is reading and identifying patterns in human behavior where others can't. She can help identify other people's superpowers. Do you know what your superpowers are? Or just as important, do you know what your kryptonite may be? Did you listen to this episode? Because if you didn't and you'd like to know more about what success means to you and how you can define it, then I would suggest you head over to episode 61, Superpowers and Kryptonite with Lucia Knight to find out exactly how to do this. Lucia is a career satisfaction designer and saves people from becoming corporate toast on their nine to five hamster treadmill. What an image that conjures up. What was once known as definition of success is no longer relevant 
Just as the term midlife crisis no longer serves us anymore. In fact, it could actually be now considered to be an opportunity to describe it as a midlife beginning instead. Be more positive, where people can transition from a state of confusion to a position of clarity, where they exchange one state of existing to a state of living with purpose. I love the language Lucia uses to define the difference between superpowers, our uber strengths and kryptonite or the arenas or environment which drain the essence of life out of us. We can quickly identify the different forms that these present themselves in and can act fast to make the changes necessary to get the perspective on our reality. She says that our lives are filled with infinite potential and once we operate from that perspective then we're able to switch off the autopilot and use our superpowers. This is so true. I know because I switched off my autopilot switch in 2016 and I have been unwittingly pointing my superpowers in all sorts of directions since. However, I am now much more focused as to where I point them and much more mindful of the kryptonite that is out there and in what form it may take. Next up is episode 62, Planning Vision with John McDermott. John joined my Focus on Why Facebook group back on the 23rd of May. And as soon as he had a chance to look around the community and the content being posted, you could see the shoulders virtually drop with relief as he announced via his first post, Amy, love this group, so hashtag anti-guru. I responded by saying, keeping it real and bringing together people who are living their best possible versions of themselves, doing what they love doing, something which I know is how you operate 24-7. Speaking the same language, I reached out to John and asked if he'd be keen to record his why for this podcast. And here we are now reflecting on the episode that came out this week. John said that this was one of the most in-depth interviews he'd ever given on who he was as a person and why he does what he does. And it was a fantastic experience chatting through with me around the importance of having a strong why within our modern world. Even as a residential homeowner, planning is something that you may have encountered in one way or another, and you may have experienced the red tape that's involved. It is there for a reason, and it's not just to turn down your loft conversion or your side extension out of spite. John talks of the importance of good quality development to protect the landscape of the past and of the future. Planning is an ancient profession which has existed in essence since Roman times and this is why he is so passionate to educate others to ensure that the right developments go on the right sites at the right time, building early relationships with the developers to ensure that there is not a mismatch of expectations and that what is achieved is from a win-win perspective from all parties. It is an incredibly fine line to tread to provide the number of homes that we need whilst not compromising on the quality. Since recording this episode, there have been huge changes in the UK planning system, which will now allow more permitted development for homeowners to extend their properties without the need for planning. Let's hope that with these relaxed planning changes, the shape of the landscape is still protected whilst catering for our growing nation. My final reflections and observations are for episode 63, The Rocket and the Compass with Lisa Gill. Lisa reached out to me after hearing the incredible Focus on Why episode I recorded with Chris Leake back in May for his episode 23, Arch to Arc. If you haven't heard it, then again, I highly recommend that you go back and take a listen as it is an incredible journey that Chris takes us on. The connection with Lisa is that Chris went on his, this Enduraman challenge to raise money for Parkinson's UK, which is a company Lisa works for. You don't necessarily need to be an entrepreneur or start your own business to work with purpose or with passion. Lisa has found a way to hone her strengths and align them with the values of the company she works for. And for Lisa, that's Parkinson's UK, where she is able to be part of something bigger. Her personal mission is aligned with the company and she reminds us not to underestimate our individual input to unleash the potential as a whole. If we understand our purpose and it sits well in alignment with our values, we will feel fulfilled and satisfied in our work, wherever that may be. She challenges us to look for ways that we might be able to do that in our job at the moment. She talks about finding the compass before pointing the rocket ship in the right direction. You don't want the rocket to launch before you have the compass set though. And I love that she also used the anecdote of how Kennedy spoke to a janitor and the role that he played in getting man onto the moon. Today, there have been similar themes running through all the episodes, focusing on perspective, filters, values, superpowers, beliefs, defining success and reaching fulfilment. 
We all have the ability to identify our superpowers, to point them in the right direction, to shield ourselves from the kryptonite, to set our compass onto the right course using simple yet powerful effective goal mapping techniques to get us there. I've climbed aboard my rocket and I know where mine is going. How about you? Where are you heading? Do you need some help? If so, just reach out to me and we can have a call to help you explore and focus on your why. Thank you for listening to the Focus on Why podcast. I'm Amy Rowlandson, and if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave me a five-star Apple podcast review. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook, and become a member of my inspiring, uplifting, and positive Focus on Why Facebook group. I help people to focus on their why with clarity, uniting their passion with their purpose with a plan to create the life they truly desire. If you would like me to help you focus on your why, then please book a free 20-minute coaching call via candidly.com forward slash Amy Rowlandson. And if you haven't already, please sign up for the Friday Focus weekly newsletter via my website, amyrowlandson.com. Have a purpose, have a plan, focus on why.